How do you see this developing? Are, are we going to see a national lockdown in Italy or will it be more regional lockdowns in and out? I don't think we are going to meet a national lockdown, uh, but I believe that the uh, local lockdown we are performing now, starting the beginning of November with uh, some regions, I think we will work. Uh, obviously, we need to wait two weeks uh, to see the results. Uh, so we did divide Italy uh, in regions uh, that are uh, controlled every every week. Uh, so we do check uh, the ability to uh, trace the virus in the territory uh, up to the number of the beds that are used in ICU care. And according to uh, 21 parameters, uh, we are able to, to say if there is a high risk of progression or uh, lower risk. Uh, Thus, we, we give uh, a color to these uh, regions, and if it's a red region, then uh, these regions uh, has a, a, lock, a lockdown that is uh, uh, less severe compared to the lockdown we, we experienced as the first in Europe uh, in, in March. Uh, so, uh, according to this, right now, we have uh, several regions that are red. Uh, some others are uh, orange and the others are yellow. Yeah. The yellow regions are uh, have the light, uh, the, uh, the light risk, and the red has the more severe risk. Uh, so I don't think we will see 21 so uh, uh, regions red. Yeah. Are, are there any regions that that could actually change in the next couple of days? What would happen to the Lombardy region? What are you seeing right now in the case numbers that could give us an indication <coughs> of what next week will bring? Uh, Lombardy became red uh, last week, uh, so according to the rule, uh, they will remain red for the next week. At the end of the next week, we'll uh, check the numbers, and if uh, the numbers are going down, then uh, obviously the, the region will turn to be orange or uh, why not, uh, uh, I hope, uh, yellow, but we need to wait one more week. Obviously, uh, when you become red on orange, you need to wait two weeks for uh, uh, check again the number, and then uh, if the numbers the, goes better, then you'll be back to, to another color. So yeah. before one week, I think, uh, will be very difficult to say if uh, it's working or not. I can tell you that some friends, some doctors uh, in Lombardy are telling me that uh, they are seeing less uh, people going to the hospital and probably things are uh, going better, but uh, it's a perception of some hospital. Uh, you know, we need to, to check the general number of the entire region. Uh, Deputy Minister, how, how likely is it that the current decree for these regional lockdowns that is meant to last until December 3rd will continue beyond that and even well beyond that? Obviously, yes, if it works. I mean, if we can prove that this uh, regional and surgical uh, uh, local uh, lockdowns works, then uh, obviously they will go ahead. Uh, even because we need to fight against this virus for the next uh, six, seven months. So I believe it's much better if you close a region and uh, you perform a local uh, lockdown that uh, maybe in two weeks uh, uh, you can remove than the entire uh, national lockdown. Give me a sense, uh, Deputy Minister, of what Italy right now needs given these regional lockdowns. How much more support do companies need and how quickly do, do Italians need access to a vaccine? So, uh, first of all, we the government is uh, helping uh, the economic COVID because right now we have a, a health COVID that, you know, uh, is uh, uh, the national health system is under pressure, but we have also an economic COVID. So we are giving, uh, providing direct compensation for uh, companies and people that they, they, they need help, uh, obviously. Regarding the vaccine, uh, you know, uh, I think the vaccine will be ready in the beginning of the next Year, but I cannot give you a date uh, since because they, uh, they we, we need to wait for, for the official authorization. So after that, uh, according to the type of the vaccine, uh, we will be able to, to have available the vaccine and we will start with the fragile people and the health workers uh, with the vaccination. So probably this will happen during the first uh, trimester or quadrimester of the 2021st. What's the biggest challenge, uh, Deputy Minister, in getting the vaccines to all the right people? Is it refrigeration? When will you be satisfied that you'll be able to roll out the vaccine to all Italians that want it? How long will that take? 
Uh, uh, I think uh, it depends from the vaccine because uh, everyone now is talking about the needs of refrigeration uh, minus 60 uh, for uh, Pfizer uh, vaccine, but uh, not all the vaccines they need uh, refrigeration at that type. Uh, anyway, I think we are ready, and the Minister of Health is uh, already working with a group. We have already a plan that is not different from the plan that uh, every year we use uh, for the uh, flu uh, vaccination. Uh, uh, probably Minister, we will just, need just... Uh, four to six weeks. Four yeah, to six and I just months. Want to make sure that I, I... I understand, uh, Deputy Minister, that you're not ruling out the extension of the decree for, the, for these lockdowns past December 3rd. Oh, I think we, we will uh, we'll go ahead with that after December the 3rd. I, I, as I told you, we need to monitor these regions, and uh, and as I think, uh, the the, the uh, exposition to the virus will, will will decrease. We will observe better numbers, I hope, in these regions. So uh, I do see an extension of that for uh, the entire winter. Uh, obviously, uh, this will avoid a national lockdown.